Okay, so in this way, I'm going to talk about uh, functions that that work for uh, a formatting uh, text to numbers and the numbers to text. They are parse number and format number. So what you need to remember, right? So by parse, we mean converting something to a structure. So like uh, uh, we, we get something and convert that to a number, like parse JSON, parse number, parse date, means we take some uh, piece of a text and we convert it to correspondent uh, structure or like a format to be exact, uh, that mentioned in this function. So it means uh, parse number means that we convert something to a number, while format number means we convert something to another format, which is text. And if you hover the mouse, a mouse here on a function, so you will see the output always. So this parse number returns you uh, as a number, while format returns us a text. Okay, so similar we have with a date. So parse date will return you a date, while format date will return you a text. So just remember it. And um, let's do some simple JSON to make sure that we have exactly uh, uh, text. So my super simple variable right here, here I'll call it a. And that will be a text. So as you see here, it will be text of something that's similar to a number. So what I'm, I need to do in this case, just because if we need to uh, require by some service or so that our system should have exactly the number, not a text, right? So as you see, we have zero something. If we output it, it will be definitely a text because it has the quotes, right? So I need to convert it to number. In this case, I can use the parse number function that uh, has several arguments, which one is the number and second one, it's a decimal separator. So we will talk about separator after this test. So, and here you go. We got that converted to number and leading zero definitely disappeared. So let's go with a more complex uh, case where we have some decimal and the decimal comes with a, uh, with a comma, not the dot. So we have like thousand separator and decimal as a comma. So let's uh, try to do this. And we also will use the parse number. So as you see, it will show the decimal separator. So if we will um, provide the correct decimal separator, which we intended to use the, the comma, that uh, how it will work. So as you see, we parse that, we got that as a correct number. And that's basically uh, how functioning the, the the parse number. You definitely may, um, you know, use uh, some different things to to parse it. Uh, I mean, to prepare the number to parsing because the parse number itself works pretty well. But if you need to do something more, like you have a text, for example, like this, right? So you definitely need to. Um, maybe you will need to remove it, but even that. Uh, should be parsed properly, I believe. Let's just test it out, and it is. So it just removes the text and uh, literally grabs the only the number. But le let's try to even try to over complex it. Even that should be parsed. You see, I have a comma here, I have text here, so maybe that will fail, but it's not. So it parses it anyways, and that is uh, how works the parse number. So as you see, pretty solid, pretty stable. Uh, a format number works in a little bit different ways. So I won't remove it just to kind of little bit over complex it. So you remember we have that type of number and I want to bring it back to let's say uh, similar format, like one, then dot, and then two, three, four, and then comma two five uh, two five six right so i have just a point here and uh, i will use the opposite function which is format number so format number function itself a little bit more complex and it's just because it allows us 
uh, like a little bit more functionality. So first argument of it will be a number itself. So that our expression, it's ret it returns a number as we already tested and uh, that worked. So we uh, then need to provide the decimal points, decimal separator, and a thousand separator. By decimal point, we mean a number of decimal points that will be returned. So I will just close this. So it allowed me to, so, and let's say I need to return just a five. So like one decimal, so my first argument will be a number of decimals, okay? So decimal points, I will put just one. So, and if I will just leave it as this, that should convert this to a text where we have, as you see, uh, only one decimal. But it's a little bit incorrect just because in my uh, expression, in my format number, I haven't stated the decimal uh, separator, how it should look like, and how this the thousand separator should look like. So I want that my uh, decimal separator should look like a comma. Just test it out. Okay, so my decimal looks as a comma, and I want my thousand separator to look as a dot. So I'm running this and it works. Actually, it worked in the beginning. That just means that was converted because it was kind of rounded because uh, my initial output, as you remember, let's just copy it, paste it. Add one number here, test two. So that I will leave as a, as a test two. And here I will have my initial number from expression. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So my initial one had 560. So that when I just asked to left one uh, decimal point, that was um, not just cut it, it was kind of rounded to one more. This uh, how usually happens with, with a math, right? And that returned me one point then two, three, four, five, six, but I assume I don't want the point. So what I have to say here for my thousand separator, so decimal separate thousand separator. So for my thousand separator, which will be the last argument, I want to either just put the empty string just like this. So as you see, it disappeared, or I want to use my empty string, which is the same. Okay, and that will convert it. So you may even try to play with it and put some crazy thing here. It probably won't work, but it might. Yeah, so it's literally, you can put anything into separator, even some other character, not just empty string or just dot or, or, or comma. So it's completely up to you. Uh, what you're going to add into it, that will still work. So these two guys uh, were our conversion back and forth between number and text, and that helps you to um, do some complex stuff. So you definitely can combine with other functions as I just did, right? Um, so you just know how it works. And that should help you to convert uh, like uh, numbers with a comma, uh, uh, as a for decimals and everything else into correct numbers and convert them back to a text because that's literally a text, right? If we go to output, that is literally text, what we got from a uh, format number. Uh, and that text will be in, in a format that you need to have. Hope it helps.